Okay, so we're studying erosion, and we want to do a hands-on activity that's going to investigate some causes of erosion and some ways to prevent erosion. Remember that erosion is the carrying away of the materials after it's been weared away. So we've got rocks and sand and dirt that ends up getting carried away and washed away when the rain comes. So what are some ways that we can investigate how to prevent the erosion once we know how it happens. So I've made a decision. I want to see how the slope of the hill affects the runoff and the erosion. I think that the steeper a hill is, the more erosion we're going to get. So I want to investigate that. What that means is that everything else I test has got to be the same each time I test it. So I chose an aluminum foil pan because I think that it'll be sturdy. I chose a medium amount of dirt because I want to not have too much dirt running off. And I've chosen to rain on my hill in the form of a steady stream of water. And I'll have to do that the same way each time because the only thing I'm investigating is how sloped my hill is. So, I've set this up. I think this is going to help me investigate the slope of the hill. Why? Because I've taken my pan of dirt and I've put it on an angle. How much of an angle? I should record that because the next time I'm going to want to change it. So, when I hold my ruler up here, I get four centimeters. So, I'm going to record that for my first test, the end of my pan is four centimeters up off the ground. And then I'm going to change that the next time. It's the only thing I'm going to change. So I think that when I add the water, a lot of dirt is going to run out into my collection pan because I'm on an angle and the dirt is loose. So let's find out. So here comes the storm. Arr. Here comes the water. And I'm adding in a sweeping motion down my hill, just like I would in a storm, just like a storm would happen. And... But I did get some dirt, and I can see that some of the water ran off and brought dirt with it. Now, I can't necessarily measure how much dirt came off, so I'm going to do a visual check. All right, let's do another test. I want the dirt to be exactly the same as it was in the first test, so I've got to dump the wet dirt out. Well, let me get rid of the wet dirt. And replace the wet dirt with, thank you, mysterious hand with some dry dirt. Same amount as before. I think I made a good decision about the aluminum foil band. Spread it out the same way I did before. Measure it so I know I have the same amount. I do. And this time Prop it up higher. See what happens. So let's measure now how high the end of our pan is. We've gone from 4 centimeters to 8 centimeters. We've doubled the height. I'm going to record that. And let's run our storm the same way we did before. Run, 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 run. It's storming. We're making a mess. But clearly, I can see that I'm getting, well, first of all, a lot more water. So when the hill is steeper, the water doesn't have a chance to absorb. That's something that we'll have to think about later. But it definitely runs down faster. 
and I definitely got more dirt in my collection. And I also noticed what happened in here. You see what happened in here? More of the dirt ran down in the pan so that all the stuff that was up at the top of the hill was washed down. So I'm going to make a conclusion that how steep the hill is does have an effect on the amount of erosion based on what I see here. Now I've got some other factors to go and test. And I'll start all over again, changing to a different variable, and test those factors as well.